I'll go ahead and get started. Uh, today I would like to do uh, an example. I had a student call in was asking about Kaltura personal capture as a way to record themselves doing a PowerPoint uh, for an online class. So let's just walk through the steps here real quick. First thing to do is open up the Chrome browser and go out to eiu.edu slash Kaltura K-A-L-T-U-R-A Whenever you press enter, it will take you to the login page if you've not uh, logged in before. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with my EIU user ID and password. That will take me to the Kaltura website. Now I've loaded several different uh, videos and things out here. The first time you log in this will probably be completely empty. But if you look up in the upper right hand corner on the title bar, you see search, add new, and then your username. I'm going to click on add new and it gives me two choices. I can either upload media to Kaltura from here or I can use this new program called Kaltura Personal Capture. I'm going to click on Kaltura Personal Capture and if this is the first time you're using it you'll have to download it to either your Mac or Windows uh, PC. So I'm, I'm using a Windows computer here so I'm going to click on download for Windows and uh, it's, it's a moderate size little application so it'll take just a, just a second here for it, to, uh, for it to go ahead and download and I'm going to click on this little carrot and I'm going to say open when done. Now this will download to your downloads folder uh, and then you, of course you could double click and install it from, uh, once, from there once it's downloaded. So just walk through this little wizard. You only need to do this once. So I'm going to say next, just take the default choices for my path, next, and install. And this may take a, a couple of minutes. So let it go through and install. Uh, you only need to do this once. This, as I said, is just a little application. It's very simple. It's just simply a, a little uh, title bar with a red record button. And it's uh, meant to record your screen and then also kind of for the talking head videos, it will record uh, you and do an overlay on top of the screen. So let it go ahead and uh, download that first time. As I said, whether you're using Mac or PC, clients are available for both platforms. And then whenever I click on finish, it will go out there and it's installed. So now then I'm going to come over here and open it up. Now since I'm using a Windows computer, I'm just going to type in the search bar. So I'm going to find Kaltura Capture. Click on that. This is the first time that it's going to be opened uh, on this particular computer. So it will go out there, open up. And there you can see it opening right there. It gives you the version number. And you can see I have a green screen behind me. Now I'm doing a screencast of a screencast, so I actually have two cameras going here. But you're only going to have one most likely, you know, your laptop webcam or a desktop webcam. So very simple interface, uh, the big red record button. If I press it, we'll start recording. But let's look at a couple of these options here. Um, I can record the full screen or I could select an area of the screen. And then if you have more than one webcam, you can select your webcams here. And then the second one over here, if I click on this, that tells me uh, no available screen or webcam. So I can click that to turn that on or turn that off. So I just turn my webcam on and you can see that the microphone, you can see the little blue bars are moving. So it is recording my audio. So it's using my microphone on my webcam to do this and then just kind of reposition your camera, whatever you want to do, position yourself. And when you're ready to go, click the record button. Now, since I'm going to simulate a PowerPoint, I'm going to bring up a PowerPoint. So let's get everything ready. There is my uh, PowerPoint and I'm ready to record now. I'm going to hit the red record button. It will give me a countdown. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm recording now. So I might need to trim off the beginning and end of this. But let me just go into uh, full screen mode here. And come over here and I can go from slide to slide. So here's slide one. Here's slide two slide three and of course I can do digital inking and highlighting and things as well. I'll go back to my original video. Uh, you can't see so let me move this back from behind me here but down here in the lower right hand corner there's a little countdown uh, ticker so it's at 30 seconds recording and then I've got a pause and then I've got a stop button or I can close it out. I'm going to actually stop the recording so I'll say bye everybody. Are you sure? Yes, I want to stop it. Bye bye. So that just cut off my webcam for uh, the recording. It gives me a little uh, metadata uh, dialog box here. My 
PowerPoint recording. Just type in whatever you'd like there. And then I have an option that I can, if I don't like it, I can just delete it right away. If I click Save, I can save it uh, locally on, on the computer. And then, of course, I can upload it uh, if, if I need to uh, go out there. Once I have it saved, I can upload it to the Kaltura Media Server. You can see that it says pending. Uh, it'll go out and upload it to the Kaltura Web Service. You know, rather than have you uh, uh, wait here, it's going to take a, it usually takes a, a few minutes. So it says started uploading my video. Well, let's just wait here just so you can see the whole process. We're at 10%. Uh, sometimes, depending upon how busy the servers are, this may, may take a few minutes. It looks like it's going relatively quickly. We're at 50%. And then whenever it's finished, I'll have the ability to click on that video and look at it from the server. And I can, I can either share that video or I could download it again, uh, whatever I need to do. And then you can see, I can, of course, I can do a uh, new recording uh, if I need to do it again. Let me click on that and go to my library. And you can see it's right here. And if I click on this link, Whoops, uh, let's say go to library, and if I click on this blue link, this hyperlink, this will actually take me to the Kaltura website and open it up. And like I said, you may want to uh, go out there and trim the, the beginning off of it or ending off if you have a lot at the very beginning of your PowerPoint and the end of the PowerPoint. Um, let me log in once we authenticate again. And this will log me into Kaltura. And once again, you probably only have one video at this point. Uh, I've got a couple of different ones here, but let me go out here to my filter and let me say media I own. And let's do in descending. All right, we'll do that and creation date and descending. And let's see if what I, what I find here. Actions. Oops, I gotta find it here, sorry. There we go. Kaltura Capture, recording October 9th at 2.06 p.m. If I click on that, you can see that it says private. I've not shared it with anybody. And then as soon as it's finished processing, uh, you'll see this. And I've got some different views here. So I've got my PowerPoint here in the lower corner. If I click on this, maybe I want to see things side by side. And then if I go back over here and I can click, click on this. And let's say that I want my PowerPoint, uh, only my PowerPoint. And that's one of the things with uh, Kaltura Personal Capture. You have a choice because it's recording your PowerPoint stream separately from your from your webcam. Uh, a lot of times people like to see the see the side by side thing here. So let me hit play. I'm recording now, so I might need to trim off the beginning and end of this. But let me just go into uh, full screen mode here, and I'll just pause that there. And that's it with the Kaltura Personal Capture. Uh, whenever you're finished, uh, if you come up here and log out just like you would any other web service, and you're finished. So that's it for this time. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Tom Grissom. Keep on learning.